Hooray. Let's get to spring break. Click here to play to play the big event. I'm going to save before we go to spring break. Spring break. Everyone's packing their stuff. Nobody can stop talking about our trip to the beach house. I'm a little worried that we still have to pay our own way, but I think I got enough squirreled away. Luckily, I've got a band van big enough to carry all of us down there. Since I'm driving, everyone else is chipping in for, ga for my gas. You almost ready? Almost. Just a couple more things. Hey, what do you think of this swimsuit? Isabella holds up a skimpy two-piece against her shirt. Babe, I thought the beach house was no smoking. Boy, please, I'm downright on fire. Anyway, hurry up. We're all itching to get going. Seriously, you ripped that one on purpose. God, those last three miles were heck. You're full of it. Quit trying to blame it on me. Come on, guys. We're here. It doesn't matter anymore. Our lungs will probably grow back fine. Grow back, it's fine. Ha! It, it was a long 15-hour trip, but we finally made it. The beach house sits before us, and the ocean sits just on the other side of it. It's pretty late. What do we want to do? Let's get settled to the house first. I want to see what the room situation is like. Of course, Dominic. So, are we really the only ones here all week? Yeah, unfortunately, Roxanne and the others had to bow out. They couldn't afford their own transportation. I feel bad, but this place doesn't really look big enough for all of us anyway. Anne is right. The house looks pretty... cozy. Once we've got the door open and the place scouted, it looks like there are only three bedrooms. Each has a king-sized bed in it, but still. Well, I suppose we could split off into pairs. Maybe someone can use the couch out there, out here. Actually, let's use two of the rooms for three people. We can go girls and boys. What? Why wouldn't we use all the rooms? I look at Isabella, who gives me a quick nod. Suddenly, I know exactly what she's thinking. Because, numbnuts, we are already got a perfectly good split here. Why mess up all of the rooms? Because it's ours for the week? That means we have to be rude? No, no, it's much better if we leave... That means much... That means we have to be rude? No, no, it's much better if we leave one of the rooms empty, where we know that none of the others will be in it. Where everyone knows that we shouldn't go into that room, especially without knocking. Dominic looks between us as realization slowly draws on his face. I'm just saying, it's a long week. Lots of folks about. Come on, Dominic, catch the hint already. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You two are gross, but whatever, fine. Isabella and I high-five as everyone starts settling to the house. Everyone splits up across, male or female, settling their, st their stuff down and make their sleeping arrangements. Alright boys, let's get our stuff down. I figured there'd be a bed situation, so I've got my sleeping bag with me. Are you sure you're not just planning on some spending the week in somebody else's bed? Hey, the week is young, my dim-witted friend. The week is young, and so are those hotties out on the beach. Dominic rolls his eyes while Rakesh shakes his head. I throw my bedroll on the floor while Dominic and Rakesh eye the bed. Ugh, I've slept in worse places. Let me see if I can find a few blankets and I'll take the other side of the bed. Dominic walks out to find a linen closet. This is so exciting! I'm just at a summer party, come down. It's gonna be a blast, bro! Yes, my friend, we will party hard! Yes, my friend, we will party hard! You know it, my man! I've got to give Rakesh a fist bump, but I don't know if he's gotten that one yet, so it's mostly just kind of an awkward handshake. He's still, he's grinning. I'm grinning. Should be a lot of fun. I only need 25 more points to get to full. Oh, Dominic! Alright, let's call it a night, gents. We got a long week. Get the lights, would you, Max? Oh, there's Rakesh! Yes, turn off the lights, Max. I'm sure nothing will happen in the dark. Rakesh! And there's Max. Oh, if it's hair-raising tales you're looking for? We all settle in for some fun in our first night. And hopefully the last night I'll be spending in a bed alone during this trip. Come on, everyone! That beach isn't gonna lie all over itself. First one there gets to rub the suntan, lo suntan lotion on my back. She looks, Isabella looks good in that bikini. Everyone's up and dressed for some fun on the beach. Sally cooked us up some great vegan pancakes for breakfast. I have to admit, I'm looking forward to spending the day on the beach. Our first day here, we basically just went into the nearby town and picked up supplies. We found a nice little outlet mall. Sally and Dominic wanted to look through it a bit, so we ended up spending our day in town just enjoying the local flavor. Today is promising to be some fun on the beach. The sky is clear and water is warm. Can't wait. Now is my idea of a good week off. Our section of the beach is private, but I've still got more than an eyeful with the ladies running around. And in the incredibly unlikely chance I get bored, I can just walk a little ways over to be on the public property. Suddenly, it's girls galore. Oh, 
Rakesh and Sally are still looking out over the water. Looks like they're thinking about going in first. No, Rakesh, you're not going to be able to snorkel in here. It's too shallow. I suppose, looking at it, you may be right. Still, I would like to explore and see. Anne and Isabella are sitting under a beach umbrella, putting on their various creams. Anne's got a couple of books next to her. Looks like she knows what she's doing today. Meanwhile, I'm trying to help Dom Dominic set up a net for some beach volleyball. Hey, hey, there's my two boys. No, it has to go to on the third rung, you dumb eh? Otherwise, it's going to be too low. It's a net, not a limbo stick. Shut up, Jack eh? If you don't get it straight, we won't be doing anything, anything with it. Ooh, Rakesh, shake that pretty butt, boy. <laughs> I love how Rakesh is all covered. Behave, Isabella. Come on, Rakesh, let's see how deep it gets out there. Watch out for undertow, you two. Oh, Anne looks so cute in that. It's nice to have the whole house out here, getting along and enjoying the beach. It almost feels like we've got our own nice little family. A few hours later, everyone's gathered around the deck table with another great lunch properly finished off. Thanks for the meal, Rakesh. That was great. Yeah, man, good job. Though I'm eyeing that grill. I think we may have to fire that up tonight. We, got, we bought charcoal, right? Yeah, and some hamburgers and veggie patties. Oh, that sounds delicious, too. I'm going to end up stuffing myself silly this week. Well, then, we're just going to have to exercise that much harder. True, we should do, go do something now. Hey, let's put that volleyball net to good use. What do you folks say? I'm game. Let's do it. I'll lead one team. Don't you get enough trying to hurt cats being our RA? I'm not going to stop until I whip you into shape. The rest of us decide it's not worth it to argue with him and let him lead one of the teams. Sally volunteers to lead the other one. The two confer for a few moments before turning to us with their team selections. Okay, we discussed what seemed fair, and for the teams it's me, Rakesh, and Anne for Team 1. For Team 2, it's Sally, Isabella, and any stray hobos they can pick up. Sally elbows Dominic in the ribs. Come on, Max, Isabella, let's clobber these suckers! Isabella and I cheer and high-five while we walk over to Sally. The three of us huddle on our side of the net to make some strategy. Okay, Max, you're gonna be a first server. We know Anne's the weak point, so try to pick her out if you can. Don't be mean though, okay? I, she's so cute. Sally has such a cute, cute swimsuit. Hey, all's fair in love and war. Ha, huh, calm it there, Top Gun. We've got this. You've got a good height advantage. Just spike that ball whenever you can. I nod as we all put our hands in the middle and pull them up with a cheer. You chumps ready for the fire? Don't get too cocky, Missy. We've got brawn and brains to spare. You mean you've gone spare? We have spare tires in our brains. Everyone looks at Rakesh for a moment, but decides to let it pass. Thanks, Rakesh. What say we make this interesting, folks? Oh, what are you thinking? Um... What say the winning team gets out of cleaning duties for the rest of the trip? Oh yes, it, I will enjoy all my extra free time. Ha! You wish! Dominic fishes out a quarter of a pot, quarter out of a pocket and flips it. He points to me and says to call it. Luckily, Tails doesn't fail me, and it's our turn first. I typically go for Tails. Dominic tosses me the ball. Looks like it's my serve. Serve it to Dominic, serve it to Rakesh, serve it to Anne. I'll serve it to Rakesh. I throw the ball and smack it over the net towards Rakesh. He's actually surprisingly, he's actually surprisingly on his toes and bumps it towards Dominic, who's just waiting for it. Isabella tries to jump for a block, but Dominic spikes it just past her left. Sally tries to die for it, but it's too late. Ha ha! Your gambit has failed, foolish one. One point to us. We rotate positions with Dominic serving this time. He tosses the ball and does a jump serve right onto Isabella. Isabella laughs as she easily returns the ball back over the net. We get a couple of good volleys in. Rakesh almost spikes one home, but a last minute dive by Sally saves it. Nice, Sally. Suddenly, just as I'm trying to figure out that Dominic's jump towards the net is a fake out for Anne bumping it over, I realize that the ball's coming right for me. I need to try to score here. Try to spike it over in the net. Try to set it for one of your teammates. Try to bump it over the net behind the other team. Isabella t told me to just spike it, so I'm just going to do that. Spike it over the net. I take a good run and le take a leap up at the ball. There's a perfect opening right between Rakesh and Anne. I swap the ball like it just tried to steal it to the last cookie. Dominic is too far out thanks to his feint, but Rakesh tries to save it. It bounces off him and out of bounds. Snug it, fools! Our point! Nice. I'll get you next time! I'm sure you will, Rakesh. 
After another half an hour, we're all feeling hot and sweaty. But it's been great exercise. Sally's team has scored 13 to Dominic's 13. We're getting really close to match point, and it's my serve again. I have a chance to maybe end the game right here, since we're only playing to 15. Now we're to serve at this time. I'm going to serve it to Rakesh one more time. I know those two have been covering Anne this whole game, and I think Dominic is expecting another cheap shot. I rear up and slap the ball home, right to Rakesh. I watch as the ball sails right past him and smacking the sand right on the inside edge of the boundary line. Woo! Aced it! Heck yes! I'd love to say that our match had an epic final point, but it really didn't. The serve went up just fine, even had a few volleys, but at the last minute Dominic went for a simple bump and slipped in the sand. The ball landed harmlessly to his left, and we scored the final point. Everyone laughed and cheered as the final point was scored. I throw my arms out and Isabella and Sally come over for a congratulationary hug. I try not to let my grin get too big. Great game, suckers. Have fun cleaning up. I believe it's time for me to get back to my tanning. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have some fun now. Good game. Good game, everyone. Yay. I finally tal- The final tally was Dominic's 13 to Sally's 15. I wandered over to the water and took a few moments to stretch. That was a lot of fun, and I really can't wait to see what the rest of the week will hold. The last two days have been incredible. I've been hanging out with my friends on and off the beach. This has probably been the best vacation of my life. Skimpy outfits, hot sun, a chance to show off here and there. It's been awesome. It's all the more disappointing that tomorrow we have to pack up and head back to the dorm. Still, I've got one more day to spend here, and I'm going to make sure it's the best capper yet. I think everyone's had the same thought. Actually, after Dominic made everyone breakfast, we all split up to sort of do our own thing. I've gotten a good breakfast and a good shower in, and now I just need to figure out what to do with my day. I'm going to play it. I walk into the deck and take a brief moment to watch over the waves. It's beautiful here. I can see why Professor Tass bought it, and why he wanted to keep it to himself. Hmm, where did everybody go today? I think Rakesh went to the garage. He's probably painting something in there. He shouldn't be. Isabella probably went to go fall asleep on the beach. Sally built a bird feeder late Wednesday, so she's probably out setting, getting that set up. And I think Anne went back inside to read by the window. I guess it's a bit cooler inside. I know that the last quarter of the year is coming up. I probably won't have another chance to get some good alone time with someone. If I don't make something happen now, nobody's going to have time to try to make it happen later. Ooh, okay. Go hang out with Isabella, go see what trouble Rukesh has gotten to, go see how Sally's doing, go check on Anne inside, take down and spend the day on your own. And I noticed that Dominic's not one of these options. So I'm going to go see what trouble Rakesh has got into. I take a quick look at my shirt before I go after Rakesh. Luckily, it's an old beater. You never know how messy it's going to get with Rakesh. Ooh, yes. How messy indeed. I make my way into the garage, finding Rakesh staring at a canvas. I can see the sketch of me at the park from the other week. Oh, I love all this continuity. When they do the continuity in this game, it's awesome. Rakesh is looking at his canvas with a look of utter concentration. I'd feel bad disturbing him. Instead, I'd just head back inside and look for something else to do. The stat requirements for the final romance endings have changed. Remember to view them so you don't miss the final ending. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. So I do need to keep doing my... Got it. Okay. So nothing really happened with me and Rakesh. I may have... So I do know that there are some prerequisites... There are some prerequisites to um, you being a romance with someone that were hidden um, that that I might have just missed. Um, and don't worry, if it turns out that I can't end up romancing um, someone this playthrough, I will replay the game again and only record the new stuff to try to go for the romance ending. Because, you know, I've been trying to go after Rakesh this whole time. So even if we end up with a bromance, they've got a bromance thing going. Um, you'll get, you'll still get to see what the full um, Rakesh romance will be uh, in my next uh, playthrough, my continuation. But I kind of like it this way anyway, because that way you, we can compare the two. We can see how things are when you just have a friendship with uh, Rakesh versus a bromance, like it seems like we're having right now. So. You know, we're going to, I think we're going to, we're just going to play it out and see what happens. And yeah, we'll, we'll just keep going. All right. Now that spring break is over, it's the final push to the end of the uh, school year. So let's see how well we do. 
Hey, do you guys have Blood Von Der Gunner got? It should be in the thrash metal section, but I'm not seeing it. It's by Flaming Eye Pokers? Hmm. Can't believe the teacher asked everyone to follow your form today. So good. Learning, learning, learning. I don't know how he expects it to help grade papers and doesn't tell me. Blah, blah, blah. Things are occurring pretty well until they decided to start up an impromptu beatboxing session. That, that didn't go well. It's never easy to work around all indie fans. Have you heard of the epic battle of the historical bands? Last week they mashed up Beethoven's Ninth with the music they played as the Titanic was going down. Oh, interesting. I know this bed is just a cheap single, but after a long day it feels fantastic. The last quarter has barely begun, and I'm ready feeling I'm already feeling blown out. I even made it home before everyone else. Having the place to myself, this place is never this quiet. It's definitely time to catch up on some sleep. I pull the covers up and snuggle down. No regrets here. Oh goody, I'm sure glad I spent fifty dollars. I think a lot of this stuff is going by quickly because I didn't have the uh the romance, unlock the romance, but that's okay. You're not how much money you have in the bank, you're not your khakis, you're the all singing and all dancing what of the world? I'm done with today. I'm just going to go to sleep and start over in the morning. Oh, goody. I'm sure I'm glad I spent $150 on books. Never easy to walk around all the indie forum fans. I do not know if you have foreign albums, but I'm um, trying to find Ati for love. Nothing like a hard earned pay. It should come more often. Study hip hop, hop, hop. I don't know how he expects me to help grade papers. Salad, chicken, laundry soap, milk. Is this a shopping list? The topic was man's attachment to material. To the material. Ooh, C. I'm not really sure what I want to do tonight. I should probably get some work done. But it's Saturday and I feel like taking a little time to myself. I respect the request that you back off. With all due respect, please stay away from me. I turn for a moment wondering if Rakesh is talking to me, but I don't think he is. He's got a notebook in one hand, and he's tapping it, it with a pen in the other. He seems to be considering what he wants to write down. He looks up from his notebook and catches me looking at him. Ah, Max. Welcome home. I must tell my parents how I feel, if possible. Without telling them how I feel. He looks at me as though I've got the answers hidden in my back pocket. I'm not sure what to tell him. Here, I'm gonna help him out. I sigh a little internally, but give Rakesh a smile. All right, Leah, tell what you got so far. What are you trying to tell them? Are you finally ready to tell them you're not interested in becoming a doctor? Well, something like this. Yes, I received a letter from them the other day stating that they are interested in coming out to see how the school is treating me. I cannot let them come here. They would discover that I have been what I've been doing. So my letter must respectfully tell them there is no need. Hmm, that's going to be a bit tricky. All right, so what have you got so far? Let me see. I have to translate a bit. Um. Dearest father and mother, I am fine. You needn't check on me. Everything's great. I'm learning everything about medicine. Please feel free to cram it and stay where you are. Don't feel... Oh, it doesn't really say that, does it? Well, I did say I was translating a bit. It actually... It's actually in English. They, they'll want to know what I'm learning, the lang that I'm learning the language well. Here, you can see. I shake my head, but take the letter anyway. It is in English, and Rakesh did paraphrase it pretty well, even if it was being a bit sarcastic. Wait, are you actually sending them a paper letter? In this day and age? No, no, I'm just planning what to put in the, in the email letter. Oh, well, hmm. I guess I'm just not really sure how to advise him to move forward. Rakesh, you know you have to write this letter, right? I mean, I can't write it for you. I know, I know, I just... I'm not sure what direction to go in. Should I try to tell them that we're all sick? Should I tell them our place is rats? You know, you could always go with the truth. Rakesh looks at me like I've grown a hole in my head. I sigh and consider what he should do. Push for the truth. Okay, man, here's how you play this. You write your letter and tell them that you've lost a few fingers in the name of science, that you've gotten a girl pregnant, or at least you're 85% sure you're the father. Then you tell them that your bills have increased and you've been getting, by, been getting by selling your body on the streets. Rakesh looks at me as though I've come up with the most brilliant plan he's ever heard of. I really worry about this boy sometimes. And then at the end of the letter, you tell them that none of that was true, and that really, you've just decided to give up the medical track. They'll instantly forgive you. Oh, that's kind of clever. Start with, like, some horrible things, and then once you drop the actual bomb, it won't be as bad. 
Clever, Max. That's actually pretty smart. Tell them there's no need to come out. You've got another. Tell them there's no need to come out. You've got another control, and you'll discuss it all with them over the summer. Kesh frowns and looks at me doubtfully, but shrugs. Stranger things have worked, I suppose. I'll see what I can put together. That was interesting. That was interesting. I don't know what makes it good yoga. Blah blah blah. Okay. We still need more. We still need more in the creative. Oh, we're done with creative. Cool. Creative's done. I don't need to go to the theater anymore. I can just sleep early or study or something like something along those lines. I do need to get more reflective stuff. So I do need to be more reflective. So yeah. Cool. So let's for right now take a nap or study. Yeah, take a nap or study. 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 And we do need to be more reflective. So we'll continue with the philosophy stuff. And sleep early, philosophy, study, sleep early, philosophy, sleep early, study, study, study. I think that'll be okay. Yeah. Because this is negative five. And then negative five and then um, negative five plus no this will be canceled out negative 17 and then this will be negative 22 and then this will be negative 29 yeah 29 and then 34 yeah I need to I need to get some sleep in here so let's take a nap here and take a nap here because I want to start increasing my energy up yeah that sounds like a good idea take a nap here study there yeah okay let's give this a try week 18 um that was okay I guess knowledge assimilation 100% completed please insert new book as I sit in my room I find myself staring at the ceiling it's been a good year so far I've had a lot of fun gotten used to college life but as, as I think about what I've got done this year, I can't help but feel like I haven't really made a lot of progress on my greater goals. I mean, this college stuff is all right and all, but how is Back Alley Flash really doing? We had a good few shot shows at Christmas, and we've done one or two shows. I don't know. I feel like I've got to throw one final. I, I feel like I've got to throw one final show for the first year. Really get my name out there. This is going to take some work, but if we pull it off by the time school starts up next year, we should be a campus legend. Sure. A few hours later, and Memphis and I are sitting in the cafe talking about our options. Look, I'm with you, man. I'm with you, man. I'm always up for throwing a killer show. The big question is, how are you gonna do it? I mean, Gaz has got a pretty big band playing. Yeah, I know. Maybe we can do something on campus, though? Look, it's the last quarter of the year. That means two things are happening. Freshmen are celebrating their first year, and seniors are celebrating graduation. Between the two of those, there's got to be a party we can land. Yeah, yeah, that's not a bad idea. Okay, we'll need to figure out a set of a set list and scope the scene to figure out where we're doing this. We're trying to get our names on all these people's lips, am I right? That's right, by the time we're done, I don't want those people to be able to think of anything but us all summer. Alright, you scope the scene, I'll work on the set list. I'll check out prospective scenes, you work on the set list. Um... How about he scopes the scene? I'm not really sure which one of us is better equipped at which. Um, I feel like I trust I trust him to to get the set list. I'll scope out this. I'll I'll check out prospective scenes. You work on the set list. Perfect. I'll get to work right away. It'll be easier for you to find the parties since you already is you're already a student. That makes sense. 
My thoughts exactly. Once you get some stuff together, send it over to me. We'll practice a bit beforehand. Sounds awesome. I give Memphis a high five as we set up from our table and start heading out. I'm excited. Something tells me this is going to be big. Um, that was okay, I guess. I give a stretch after another long day of classes. I'm looking at the stairs, thinking how nice it's going to be back in my room. On my way up, I hear Sally and Isabella arguing. Don't know what it's about, but I'm glad I'm not involved. I try to take a long way around and just head over to my room. Once I'm back in my room, I put on some headphones and get back to my business. Okay, things are really flying past. And philosophy, here we go. I'm heading home to take a shower. It's still early in the quarter. I'm not sure what to expect from Professor Merriweather. Still, it should at least be entertaining. All right, if you're in this class, you've probably got the basics down, which means it's time to start getting serious. Now, normally we do this sort of thing in a lab, but today is special for two reasons. Number one, some brain genius decided to mix glycerin with KMNO4 in our labs, meaning there is now an opportunity for alternate environment learning. Secondly, the morgue is full, and my contact is on the cheap. What? As soon as she says that, one of the professor's TAs walks into the room, pushing a cart with a blanket over it, and a suspiciously body-shaped lump under the blanket? This is a 103 class. I'm pretty sure we're not up to this stuff yet. As soon as I see the look of glee on the professor's face, though, I know we're going to do this. All right, better question. Who wants to make the first incision? Don't worry, he's dead. He complains very little. Around the room, everyone seems unsure what to do with this. A few hands suddenly go up. Come on, come on, you won't get a chance like this for another two or three years. Um, Professor, is this, you know, legal? I'm sorry, I thought this was biology. Apparently it's intro to law. Shut that didn't answer the question. Well, as it turns out, I probably got a degree in that too. So how about you shut up? <laughs> wow, professional. As a matter of fact, looks like someone just volunteered to take culpable. I mean, the first cut. The professor stares at me as the entire class, the rest of the class turns to look at me with a mixture of amusement and horror. I wait a few moments to see if the professor is going to change her mind, but I finally stand up and walk down to the front of the class. Here you go, Captain Rules. How about you choose our lesson plan for today? Pick a spot. We'll examine whatever you cut up. The professor hands me some plastic gloves, which I put on as she starts stands there staring at me. She then hands me a scalpel, and I look at the body. Luckily, the TA left his face and lower half covered. I walk over to the corpse and try to figure out what I'm going to do. Cut into the chest, cut into the belly, refuse to cut. The chest is probably less messier than the belly. I look at the body and cover my eyes. I reach out towards the chest and make a slash. What was that? He didn't cheat you at poker. You're doing surgery. Give it a real cut, boy. Wow, this professor. I look at the professor in horror, close my eyes, and really try to sink the scalpel to the corpse. That's better. All right, looks like we're looking at the lungs today. Now, the first thing you'll notice is the lack of blood. That's because they drain these things, and because I'm not a complete idiot. The professor looks at me just standing there and makes shooing motions. I slowly return to my seat as Professor Merriweather begins her lecture properly. I can't believe she had me do that. So disgusting. I need to skip this class from now on. Oh, poor... Poor Max. That must be traumatizing if you're not prepared. Alright. Okay, we're getting some studying in. And yay, our stats are good. Look at that. 300 in reflective, 200 in art. That means we can spend most of our time studying. We've already gotten everything we need. We've got plenty of moolah. So we can study, study, study. I'm trying to maximize my study time. Now, if we do that, if all we're doing is studying, then this is negative 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Yeah. We're just losing. Yeah. We're just focusing on the studying. There we go, because we've got the stats up. Not that I think it matters, because I don't think we're actually like going to be finishing anyone's path this playthrough, but we'll give it a try. Yeah, okay. Oh goody, I'm sure I'm glad I spent 150 bucks on books. Now the simulation 100% completed, puts it in a certain notebook. Oh yeah, we're increasing our 
knowledge. I'm starving. Luckily, the cafe is on the way home. A nice sandwich sounds perfect about now.